We are here at the Coos Bay Speedway for round number one of the ISCS Week of Speed. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to today's video. First off, hope you're all having a great day today. And for the second time this season, we are here at the Coos Bay Speedway, this time in the Limited, not the 360. I already feel like I have a pretty big jump start on a lot of these guys. Most of them have not been here before. This is my second time being here, so not much more than others, but I already have a pretty good idea of what the track's gonna do. Right now, it doesn't look very, it's wet, but I don't think it's very wet under the surface. You can kind of tell right down here, it's already starting to get pretty dry. So by the time the A-Main event rolls around, it's gonna be pretty slick out here. I'm hoping the track is just like it was for Western Sprint Tour. For then, it was right around the bottom. My left front was right on this berm, and then right in the middle, right before the banking kind of flattens out a little bit. So it was great, two lanes of racing, hoping to see that tonight, and hope the track stays in great condition. We have 20 plus cars for round number one of ISCS Week of Speed. Let's jump into it and have a great night. We are heading out for qualifying round number one here at Coos Bay. Really, we just need to get the night and the week off started right. Uh, if we could put her in the top three, that'd probably set us up good for the heat race, then we don't have to pass a bunch of cars. So if we do good now, we won't have to do as much in the heat race, but if we don't do as much now, we're gonna have to do more in the heat race. Also, we're gonna be breaking out the white gloves for this, so hopefully they're good luck. Maybe we can put a quick time on them pretty early. Uh, so heading out right now, wish us luck. Coos Bay's a fun track. Looks like it's pretty good right now. Uh, still tacky, probably gonna be wide open. So let's head out. Before we went out, I was kind of hoping we could put a quick time down and in our group, since that's all ISCS matters for is our group qualifying. Out of seven of us, I went quick time. Car was awesome. A few times getting into one and two, I was entering, I think my third and my fourth lap, I was a little high. Groups three and four are out there right now, but this is gonna set us up to be really good for the rest of the night. So quick time in group two, like I said, three and four, I felt good every single lap. One and two, I was getting a little bit too sideways on entry, but my second lap, I was perfect on both ends. So I'm feeling good, feeling confident going into the heat race. We're gonna start sixth. Now I'm gonna go watch the rest of qualifying, learn as much about the track as possible, and then we go out for our heat. Ben and I's favorite class is out there right now, the Hornets. The sprint cars are lining up. I'm in the second heat race. The first one is about to go out. The track report is the bottom's really slick in both corners. The top still has a lot of grip. I got to watch out on entry. At the top side, it's starting to get slick, especially in one and two. So got to keep the car as straight as possible. We're heading out starting sixth in the second sprint car heat race.
NASCAR B main event is getting ready to head out on the racetrack. I haven't got a chance to vlog since before the heat race. We went six to fourth there, so not too bad. We got in the redraw. We were seventh in points. Here's a look at the racetrack. So we're down here in one and two, and you can kind of see out there, it's moved up pretty far up. There's just no cushion out there to hold you. So that's why I think the bottom down here is gonna be really fast in the top in three and four. I can't zoom in that far, but it's not as far around the top down there. So it's a little bit closer to the bottom. And I think that's one of the reasons why it's gonna be bottom down in one and two and the top in three and four. But we just did the redraw. Here's a clip of that to see where we start. So we will start seventh in tonight's feature. I wish we could be a little bit farther up. There was still a three and a five pill left, but we just got the worst of them all. One last look at the racetrack though. We're gonna be getting in for the A main event here soon. I'm gonna watch the B. See what the track does. Like I said, it just feels like a longer time around the top down here, shorter down there. So two different lines on both corners. It's gonna be an exciting night. I think the track's gonna be really racy. We are getting ready to head out for the A main event for the first round of ISCS Week of Speed at Coos Bay. We actually have one of the best pit areas right here. We got a good spot right by the racetrack. We can see it from here. The only problem is it's super loud with those door parts. You can hear them right now. So they're out there. They got about 10 laps left. We're heading out. I start seventh. I think I just want to put it in the trailer in one piece. Try to get a top three. Top five would be terrible. If not, though, let's see if we can get the win. I uh, got some good guys ahead of us that we're going to have to get around. But other than that, we just really got to go forward, get points as much as possible to get some momentum for the rest of the week. We're heading out now, though. Wish me luck, and let's see if we can get a top three and head for that win.
shutting all the lights off. The A main event's over. We just loaded up, pushed the car in over there. We didn't get the finish we wanted. I felt like I did everything I could. I was really searching for grip all over the racetrack. I think I could have got a little bit more aggressive with my wing, moving it back. We ended up finishing ninth, started seventh, so we just went backwards. I really just didn't feel that great out there. I was really searching for grip. And the track, oh wow, that's, <laughs> but the track was so slick, like everywhere it was. In my opinion, it wasn't as good as the Western Sprint Tour track. The one, the thing I liked about that one was it had a lot of grip on, not a lot of grip, but it had grip on the bottom and it had grip on the top and then slick through the middle. So you couldn't run there, but it was like two even lanes, so it was really good racing. Tonight, down here in one and two, I felt like it was slick all the way across, so I didn't have grip on the bottom, it was all right on the top. I think if I moved my wing back sooner, I would have been better. But in three and four, it's just so narrow and tough to pass, especially when guys are literally one on the inside, one on the outside, right in front of you. It just takes up the whole track. So, wish we could have been a little better. It's gonna hurt us a little bit in points just going into the rest of the week. But on the bright side, if we're going to Cottage Grove tomorrow, and that's my favorite racetrack, and we're gonna have some momentum. And I think we can do really well there, if not get the win. We've just been so fast in the past few races there. But that's gonna end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share. We got five more nights left, so we definitely have lots of time to improve, learn a lot, and see if we can get that first career sprint car main event victory. But until tomorrow, I'll see you guys then. Deuces.